Pappe. Drop it. Body's man, be ready. Um, thank you for checking in. Please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. So, the intro pretty much you saw, I drew my farm from concealment and also from my duty holster. No worries, these are my training mags. So, um, but in any event, today we're going to be discussing a little bit about moving and shooting, right? Some basic fundamentals. Of course, you guys know you should already always be safe with the gun, right? Always, always, always. So the four, rule, four rules are always make sure your gun is clear and perform safety clearance checks. Please uh, be aware of your muzzle. Make sure that you don't touch the trigger or the trigger arm so you're ready to fire and be aware your target must be on it. With understanding and knowing those, that means that the safe, our safe direction is always changing when you're moving and shooting. I'm no moving and shooting expert, but I do quite a bit of it. Um, myself, a few other instructors, my cousins, friends, uh, and we do it pretty regularly, right? Whether we're going to Black Alpha Tactical or a few other uh, outdoor ranges in the area, even if you go down to the Delmarva range, right? But check this out. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'm AWSing AWS today. For you all who know that that means, know what that means, I have a change in scenery. And for that particular reason, on my break, I said, let me do a quick video. So you should be dry firing. You should be drawing from um, your holster. Uh, a great instructor, Mr. Kenneth Thornton, told me years ago, he doesn't carry a gun um, in a holster until he has drawn that gun from the holster like a thousand times. That's a lot. I don't do that. Uh, but not saying that you should or should not do it because there's a great point. Me, after I feel comfortable with um, drawing a, a gun from a holster wearing a particular type of way, then... I'm going to carry it. I'm going to do it at least 50 times, play with it first, and go from there and make my adjustments. But to get back on topic, I have a lot of people reach out to me about moving and shooting. Um, I'm not very comfortable with everybody moving and shooting, um, which, you know, it should be pretty understandable. Um, I have had a few people come out of moving and shooting with me, and they recognize a few things. Number one, the dynamics are different, right? When you're at a static range, you're drawing, and you're shooting, you know, you know that the safe direction to point the weapon is going to be downrange, right? Downrange or, you know, on the table or in your holster, correct? When you're moving and shooting, um, like you may see one of my preview videos I did with a gentleman, um, Carlos Sr. and his son uh, CJ, they were moving, you know, I had to have the gun up, gun down, all this other good stuff, right? So, for instance, we may be shooting. We may have to turn and run, right? Whether it's with the rifle or with the pistol, you, you may put it back, but there's no reason to put your gun back in a holster if it's already out, it's out for a reason, right? So it's already out. So you may turn, run with your gun to your next location and turn back. There could be people up range. So you wanna make sure before you start moving, the gun is in a safe direction, fingers off the trigger, of course, and um, you just take your time. There's no need to rush. Smooth is fast. When you start going too fast, you have mistakes. I had a situation where I was doing some moving and shooting with my cousin in front of some of his friends, and it was wet, it was muddy outside. And we were I was running, I don't know, running a course, and I fell. I had my gun on my hand, but guess what? My finger was on the trigger, and the gun was in the air. When I fell, I fell like a person who, you ever seen a person in a club, and they still got their drink up? That's how I was with the gun. So I fell, gun still in the air, right? Gun still in the air. So it was safe. And I continued the course of fire. So when I was muddy, um, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is there are people around and you have to be safe. I don't know why I still have my finger up in the air, right? Like I'm trying to get a waiter's attention. But in any event, please be mindful of that. And also be mindful of the fact that since you are moving, your heart rate is going to be elevated. Um, some people make fun of, you know, you may do push-ups, whatever it is. You don't even have to do that. Jumper jacks, whatever you don't have to do. Once you start moving and it's hot, your body, you start to get warm, things are going to change. Right? Your breathing is gonna gonna make you move. So you just have to be okay with the fact that when you're moving and shooting, things are not going to be perfect. Right? Like you, you may be a ace boom coon when hitting that target at three, five, ten yards. But when you start moving, 
one of my clients recognized this is a bit difficult, right? So one of the things that you saw in the video is I came around the corner, I'm drawing, and I'm pushing out as I'm walking, and then I scan left, scan right, and I put it back in the hook. I'm not rushing, I'm taking my time. So me personally, I would encourage people, make sure your gun is clear, you know, make sure there's nothing in there, put that in my pocket, even though there's nothing in there, make sure your gun is clear, of course. You see it's clear, kill the trigger, and as you're going about, just walk around the house, make sure you're gonna screw it, grab it, and press up, right? Move around, but make sure you point your gun in, in a safe direction. Draw and move. Because what that's gonna allow you to do is you're doing multiple things at one time. Now, I don't expect you to be running and doing it, right? Because a lot of times, if I am running from one place to another, the gun is already out. But to start getting yourself in the habit of moving and shooting, you can start practicing those fundamentals. You can make sure your gun is clear, you can draw from concealment or from your uh, your duty holster, press out, and have a nice trigger press, right? Rack the slide, come back, and put your gun back in your holster. This may seem silly to some people. These are things that I just, I, I, I've recognized over time, and I was like, okay, aha moment. This would be a great opportunity for me to talk to brand new shooters, people who've been shooting for years. Um, even when I'm doing some of my, my security class, things of nature, and we do moving and shooting, we focus on getting that gun out of the holster, being steady, being stable, not trying to rush, especially if you take a personal protection class, um, armed personal protection, these are things that you go through, right? Um, I just recently recertified for my armed personal protection, and there is some movement in there. There's quite a bit of movement, actually. So, um, pray for that helps you guys out. Pray for you saw my, probably, uh, well, you saw the videos that I'm going to post in the beginning of the video. Let me know. Give me some feedback. Please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. If you like something like this, let me know if you hate it. That's fine too. It helps the algorithm. Um, and if you want to take some classes, Merlin is changing laws October 1st. So stay hip on that. Make sure you contact your instructor. If you have an instructor, contact me. I'm in, I'm in the Merlin area. Um, if you need your DC, I have the hookup. Not the hookup, but I have somebody who's certified to do that. I have people who are able to do Virginia. I do Merlin and a few other states as well. Uh, if you need consultation, DM me, MD underscore ready. I need to start kind of playing with my Twitter a little bit, but I, I don't really mess with it too much. But if you want to contact me, Contact me through Instagram. Uh, no funny stuff, please. Um, I'm here for business. And we will leave it like that, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Fall is coming, so now you can carry a bit of a bigger gun. <laughs> and God bless you guys. I'm out.